What is up team? Welcome back to the work method and welcome to day 12 of the power program. We have an upper body workout in the books for today. Let's hop into a nice warm up and jump into that first circuit. We're gonna start off 20 jumping jacks, 20 seal jacks in three, two, one, and go. 20 jacks. Twenty then hands in front, twenty seal jacks. Think about squeezing those shoulder blades back in together. Then we're going ten toe touch squats. So feet uh, shoulder width apart. You're gonna look here. Try to keep your legs straight. Reach down, grab the toes, drop the butt, and then stand up. Touch, drop. Ten reps. So it's a stretch in the hamstring. Open up those hips. Then we're gonna drop down on our belly. We're doing 10 overhead reaches. Hands off the ground, reach overhead, pull them back. Then we're going into five. Nice and slow. Touch. Then we're gonna hop up. We're gonna go 10 big arm circles forward, 10 reverse, 10 crosses. And we'll get into this first circuit here. <coughs> kind of reverse. And then tank crosses, team. All right, so first circuit up today, we have a replacement exercise over last week. So last week we were doing dumbbell chest presses with an ISO hold in the opposite arm while we did them. We're gonna swap that out for an ISO hold dumbbell shoulder press, same time format. So we're gonna sit down. You can either do sitting, seated with a bench uh, upright against the back to keep you kind of low back supported, allow you to really isolate the shoulders, or you can do the standing, whatever you prefer. You're gonna take two dumbbells, up on the shoulders. You're gonna press both overhead. We're gonna keep the left arm locked out and you're gonna do 50 seconds of presses with the right arm. Then we're gonna take a 10 second rest. We're gonna press both up, 50 seconds on the left arm. Then we're gonna take a, 10, a 20 second rest and we're gonna drop 10 seconds off of that. So we're gonna go 40 right, 40 left. Then we're gonna take another 20 second rest and go 30 right, 30 left, and then that's one full round through. We're gonna have a 45 second rest after that, and then we're gonna repeat that only for two rounds. So a couple key points on technique here. I want you kind of coming down a little bit in front of you with the dumbbells, so a little bit on an angle. We don't want the elbows out wide. We don't want them super tight, kind of that 45 degree angle here. And the opposite arm, you've gotta to try to keep it locked out, elbow locked. Think about bringing your bicep near your ear while you're pressing with the other arm. Go lighter here. It's gonna be pretty fatigue on the shoulders, even while you're holding, that shoulder's working, so you can fatigue pretty easily. I'm gonna to try to go 25s on my first set, see how it feels, and then uh, adjust from there. Any questions, team? Are we good? Let's do it. We have a 10 second countdown. I'm gonna do it seated. I wanna take any low back out of it, and I really wanna isolate the shoulders, triceps. We're going in five seconds, team. Press both up. Three, two, one, and work. Press both, keep that left arm locked down. Press with the right. 50 seconds.
nice and controlled. Good wrap. Twenty seconds left. Five, three, two, one, bring them down. Ten seconds, team. Three, left arm, one, and work. Press both up, and then press with that left arm. Take your time, good reps. Try to come all the way down, let the dumbbell touch the inside of your shoulder or the top of your shoulder. 15 seconds. Woo! If you start to fatigue, you can drop the weight or you can lower the locked out arm. Three, two, one. 20 seconds, team. Recover, shake out those arms. We got a 40 second set on the right arm next. I'm gonna stick with 25s. It's definitely challenging. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Press both up. Left arm locked out, you're pressing with the right. 40. Think about that shoulder doing the work. Ten seconds. Couple more good reps. Five. Three, two, one. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Sorry. Woo. Forty on the left. Coming up. In three, two, one. Let's work. Both up. Left arm for forty. Eight seconds. Two, one, 20 seconds, team. Oh, 30 second set. Drop the weight if you need to, or drop that locked out arm when you start to fatigue. Shoulders are on fire. Five seconds, team. 30 seconds on the right arm. Let's get ready to work. Two, one, and go. Both up. Good rep. Nice and slow. Ten. Five. Two. One. Ten seconds rest. Five, three, two, one. 30 seconds on the left. Press both up. Halfway. Eight. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo. All right, I'm resetting my timer. It's not making noise. Oh, why does it do that? 45 seconds, rest team. We 
It may even take a little longer. We're gonna get a couple extra seconds here. We're gonna need it. That is super fatiguing on the shoulders. How are we feeling, team? That was the assessment round. If you need to drop the weight, do it. I may grab some 20s and keep them close by in case, in case that fatigue out, I need to drop the weight down. 20 seconds team is our last round through of this one. We're back to 50 seconds on the right arm. Let's do it. Eight seconds. In five, three, two, one, and work. Press both. Left arm locked, press with the right. seconds. Woo! Come on. Ten. Three, two, one. Rest. Ten seconds only. Woo! Five. Two. Fifty on the left arm. And work. I'm dropping a twenty. for 20 team. Drop the weight if you need to. I'm dropping the 20s for the next two sets. Ten seconds. We got 40 seconds on the right arm. If you can't hold it up overhead, just drop the other arm down to your shoulder. Two, one, and work. Both up, press, 40 on the right. Come on. Eight seconds. Two, one, rest. 10 seconds, we got 40 on the left. Two, one, work. Come on, we're in that home stretch. Only one more set after this one. Twenty seconds. <sighs> Short breaks are okay. Take it out, 10 seconds. Oh. Two, one, rest. 20 seconds, team. 30 seconds each arm. <laughs> oh. This is tougher than the chest press. 10 seconds, team. Last one, 30 on the right, pick them up. Three, two, one. Nice tall posture. Press. <laughs> 
four, three, two, one. 10 seconds. Left arm coming up. Come on. Two, one. Work. Come on, 12 seconds, team. Two, one, and rest. Three minutes on the clock. Woo! Shoulders are feeling toasty after that. All right, team, three minutes. Recover. Keep your bench out if you have it. We are repeating what we did last week. And we're going the exact same time format as that circuit, and we're gonna do one arm dumbbell rows. This is the same time frame as last week, so what I'm gonna ask you to do is if you can go a little heavier. Last week I did 40s. I'm gonna try 45s this week. We're gonna do a one arm dumbbell row, same format, 50 seconds each arm, 10 second break in between, then a 20 second rest, 40, 30, same, same exact format. So, if you have a bench, I want you to use that bench I'm gonna go with a 45 pound kettlebell instead of a 40 pound dumbbell. And we're gonna go right arm for 50 seconds. Key point here is that we're going with a three second negative. So keep your elbow tight to your body, your left knee and left hand are posted up on a bench. You're gonna pull that dumbbell or kettlebell towards your hip, one, two, three. Get, get a nice stretch at the bottom, back up, one, two, three and then we'll switch arms for 50, 50 seconds on the left arm. If you don't have a bench to set that up on, you could set up on a couch, ledge, anything to brace yourself. You can also set up on your knee. So you go here, bro, one, two, three, or on your elbow, kind of whatever feels most comfortable to you. Challenge yourself weight-wise. If you did last week workout, try to bump it up a little bit. Like I said, two rounds through this. Any questions, team? What you got? Perfect. I'm going 45, we got a minute rest. If you want, you can stretch out those shoulders with me a little bit here, cross that body. Stretch out the lat a little bit, hold that hand across. Try to get some blood flow back in there, get some blood out of the shoulders. Oh. Stretch out the neck a little bit. We wanna focus on keeping our shoulders down and back while we're doing our rows. So we don't want the shoulder hunching up. Good posture, hand towards your hip, elbow straight back like you're elbowing someone behind you. Thinking about driving that shoulder blade back and across the body. 50 seconds on the right arm team in 23 seconds. Let's get it. We got three circuits today. This is number two, we got one more after this. So it's not a lot of different exercises, so put your intensity in the ones that we are doing. 10 seconds, get set up. In three, 50 seconds, three second tempo down. And work, pull, squeeze. Exactly the same. Very little body momentum. Focus on using those 
back muscles, biceps, little triceps too. Come on. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Rest team, 20 seconds. Right arm coming up, 40 seconds. We a little push pull action to start us off here. Five, let's get set up. Three, two, one. 40 seconds on that right arm. Three seconds down, team. 15 seconds. Come on. Two, one. Switching sides, 10 seconds. 40 on the left arm. Two, one. And work. Come on, 15 seconds. Five, two, one. Rest team, 20 seconds. 30 on the left arm, come on. We got a nice 30, 45 second rest coming up after this, and then one more round through. Five, three, two, one. 30 on the right. Two, one, rest, switch inside. 30 on the left and 10. Two, one, let's work. Three, two, one. Rest. 45 seconds, team. Woo, how we doing? How was the weight? Can you go up a little bit? Was it challenging? Where you need to take breaks, decrease the weight? Were you cheating a little bit? Using too much body English? Adjust. I'm sticking with the 45. That was perfect. It's gonna be the 50 second set. It's gonna be a challenge for sure. 15 seconds, team. Last round through it, and then we move on to our final circuit of the day. Come on, seven seconds, set up. Right arm, 50 seconds, two, one. And work, last one. Focus, 
intention, back muscles. Twelve seconds. <sighs> Whew. Seven. Two. One. Switch sides. Fifty on the left. Three. Two. One. Let's work. Fifty seconds. Seconds, team. 40 seconds on the right. Come on, let's get it. Don't quit now. Seven seconds. 40 on the right again. Two, one, and work. Short breaks are okay. Try to get right back into it though. Huh. Two, one. Press, switch inside. Three, left arm for 40. One, work. Fifteen seconds. Two, one. Twenty seconds, team. Thirty seconds each arm to finish off. Three minute rest coming up after this, and our final set. Circuit. Ten seconds. Right arm for thirty. Let's get it. Good reps all day. Three, two, one, and work. Own that tempo. Five. Two, one, rest. 10 seconds, 30 on the left arm. In three, two, one, work. One, eight. These reps should look as good as the first couple of this whole thing. 10. Five, three, two, one. And rest, team. Woo! Three minutes on the clock. 
Let's recover and get into our final circuit here. All right, team. You can leave your bench out if you have it. I'm gonna clear it off to the side though, because we got some stuff to do on the mat. All right. So we got EMOM format with a minute and 20 instead of every minute. So what that means is we have a dedicated exercise and a dedicated number of reps to complete every minute and 20 seconds. Four exercises, so four minute and 20 intervals, no additional rest between rounds. Your only rest is the remainder of that minute after you finish the reps. So in the first minute and 20, 20 push-ups. Modify these however you need to. If you struggle with regular push-ups, do them on an incline surface like a bench. And if you don't have something elevated to do them on, you can do them on your knees. But we want full, good push-ups. We want let those elbows tuck at that 45 degree angle just like we would on any type of chest press. Ideally, our chest is hitting the ground, driving back up, locking out elbows fully. We want full reps, good reps all day. 20 reps. From there, we're hopping up and we're going 20 dumbbell upright rows. So, shoulders are pretty fatigued at this point. Go a little lighter than you think you would. I'm gonna try to go 20s. Slight bend in the knees, a little bit of a lean forward at the hips. Drive up with the elbows, nice and slow down. Think about pulling, elbows staying at least level with the hands, and then nice and slow down. That's our second minute and 20. Third minute and 20 is 20 dumbbell skull crushers. I prefer to do this with a single kettlebell, a dumbbell here. So <clears throat> you're gonna grab a triangle grip. If you're on a bench, if you don't have a bench, you're gonna grab it on the side and you can do this on the ground. We're gonna lie to the end of your bench, your head almost hanging off, dumbbells right above the face, let the elbows go back and the shoulders, let it come down deep behind your head and then squeeze up and bring it back over your face. We're mostly bending at the triceps, only a little bit of movement at the shoulders. 20 reps. And from there, that's our third movement for 20. The fourth minute and 20 interval is dumbbell reverse flies. So we have elbows bent, we're bent over at the hips, and we're coming out in a T motion for 20 reps. We wanna feel this in your rear deltoids, which is the back of your shoulders and all across the upper back. So it looks like this, we're just bent over. Palms stay facing each other the whole time. Any questions team? We got three rounds through that, a minute 20 for each movement. I'll remind you what they are as you go through, but it's 20 reps for everything. Let's do it. We got a seven second countdown. We're going straight into 20 push-ups. Modify how you need to, or however you need to. Two, one, and work. 20 reps, team. Break it up if you need to as well. seconds left team if you're still working I'm gonna cut you at 10 seconds oops I'm gonna cut you at 10 seconds if you're still working to give you a few seconds to transition to the next movement we got 10 seconds till we cut it we got 20 upright rows coming up next we're gonna cut it in two one cut it there team get set up I'm going 20s on these upright rows. In five, three, two, one. Let's work. Keep those abs tight. Dumbbells can come a little bit away from your body.
Short breaks are okay, break it up if you need to. Thirty-five seconds left, team. We're gonna cut it in twenty. We're going dumbbell skull crushers for twenty. I'm gonna go with a thirty-pounder. Triceps are gonna be pretty fatigued at this point. I may jump it up to forty if this feels too easy. We're cutting it in five, two, one. Ten seconds, team. Get ready for your skull crushers. Come on. Five, three, one, and work. Nice and low, squeeze those triceps. Break it up if you need to. Dumbbell comes right past the top of your head. You can let the elbows flare out a little bit. And so we're cutting it, team. That burn. Three, two, one. Cut it there, team. We got 20 dumbbell reverse flies coming up. I'm going with 15 pounders. This is probably your lightest exercise. Two, one, and work. 20 reps. Control that descent. That T formation. If the low back starts to fatigue, just stand up for a second. I'm going 10, give my low back a little bit of rest. Make sure my posture is good, shoulders are backing down. Don't force those dumbbells too high. Go to whatever range you can. Cutting it at 10. We got 25 seconds till we hit the 120 mark. 12 seconds till we cut it. We're one round down, two to go, team. Come on, I'm sticking with all these weights, the same weights. That 30 was actually tough on the skull crusher. Triceps are. We're cutting it there, team. 10 seconds. 20 push ups coming back up. Modify however you need to. No egos. Three, one. And work. Breaks if you need it. We're cutting it in 14, team. Woo. 10 seconds till we cut it, and we got 20 upright rows coming up. Ten, cut it there, team. Cut it. Five seconds, twenty upright rows. Two, one, and work.
Hammer. We're cutting it in 30 seconds. Oh. Woo. 15 seconds till we cut it, team. We got dumbbell skull crushers. That dumbbell should be coming right past the top of your head. It's not a pullover. Three seconds till we cut it. One, and stop. Get ready for your 20 skull crushers. Five, three, two, one, and work. 20 reps. Twenty-five seconds till we cut it. Short breaks, if you need it. We're cutting it in five. Woo! Two, one. Cut it there, team. Ten seconds. We go to reverse flies. In three, two, and work. 20 reps. Come on. Oh. Short breaks are okay. We got a minute left. I'm going 10, five, and five. Fifteen seconds till we cut it, team. Hang in there with me. Come on. We got our final round. Don't quit now. This is where we make the progress. We're cutting it in five, three, two, one. Ten seconds, team. Final set of push-ups. And our last round through it. Let's get after it. Two, one, and work. This is gonna hurt. Come on. Breaking it up, 10, five, five, short breaks, using that full minute and 20, or minute. We got 30 seconds till we cut it. In 17. We got dumbbell upright rows. Cut it there, team. 10 seconds. 20 upright rows. Woo! Three, two, one. 
And work. Arms are feeling jello-y. On your rep. Deep breath. Get right back into it if you take a break. Come on. We got 30 seconds till we cut it. Oh. We're cutting it in 12, team. Dumbbell skull crushers. We're cutting it in five, two, one. Rest team, 10 seconds. Final one, 20 skull crushers. In four, two, one. Let's work. Come on, I know those arms are on fire. Get good reps though. Twenty seconds till we cut it. Woo! Ugh. We're cutting it in three, two, one. Leave it there, team. We got dumbbell reverse flies. We got the full minute and twenty. Take a little extra rest at the beginning here if you need it. Taking a deep breath or two before I get into it. We're not cutting any time off here. We're gonna use the full minute and 20 for the best reps we can get. Control it on the way down. We got 45 seconds left. I'm going 10, five, and five. Control that descent. That's where the shoulders really get that work. <sighs> 30 seconds still, team, come on. I got five to go. Seconds to finish, team. Three, two, one. Awesome work, team. Day 12 of the power program is in the books. Nice work, Zim. Nice work, team. Thank you guys for joining in. We'll be back tomorrow and Thursday with live workouts, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Friday is gonna be a pre-recorded one that fits in the program. Thank you guys, have an awesome rest of your day. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.